everyone welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to do my second ranking all of the palettes that I've used so far um, in the last three months so yeah three months ago I did this for the first three months of the year and now I'm doing it for the last three months so this I'm doing quarterly and I'm I'm maybe I should have done this monthly because I'm seeing how many palettes I've had to rank and it is a lot I am only going to rank palettes that I have used to make a complete look or I have dipped into more than one or two shades um, because otherwise it's just too hard because I do have palettes that I'm working on uh, just for my pan eyeshadows and some of those I'm not using any of the other shades I'm literally just dipping into one shade so I don't feel like it's uh, fair for me to rank that palette against other palettes where I haven't used it in its entirety. Um, I also have these three. I have the Blueberry Muffin, the Whatever palette, and also the newest um, Anastasia Beverly Hills palette that I really only ha haven't had, you know, I haven't had too much time to work on. This one I have in my Panda's Eyeshadows, the Whatever, um, but I did want to use the other shades, but um, I haven't used enough of the other shades to rank it and also the same for the blueberry muffin I did a really beautiful look yesterday, but that is about it. So I just do not want to rank this I do not think it's fair um, The one that I have enjoyed the least uh, Shouldn't come as any surprise, but it is my wild nothing from Colourpop. I just have not enjoyed this I just find it so so um, deep and I just don't think the tones suit me. Maybe I need to be extremely tan to, to pull this off or have a different hair color. I, I just don't like it. It's a little bit too warm and deep for me. And it is really a real shame. Um, it's a, It was a real disappointment because I was very much interested in trying it. I know Steph Lyons loves it. She's done some beautiful looks with it. And I thought, well, I could do that too. <laughs> and uh, no, I can't. Um, they just don't look as good on me. Um, so, you know, everyone's got different coloring. But yeah, this one I am ranking um, at the bottom. It's not the quality. The quality is great. It's just the color story, really. Uh, next one is the same thing, the color story, the Aha uh -huh Honey. I um, was using this in a project. I actually did hit pan in this middle shade here, which is obviously the glitter. Just kind of crazy shade to hit pan on. But yeah, this one I do not enjoy either, just simply because... I don't go for yellows all that much and this is a very golden yellow and it's just too warm it, it's just I don't know I think you're gonna realize my most favorite palettes are the cooler ones <laughs> just FYI that's what I'm feeling right now but this one again the quality is really beautiful I really do like these palettes from Colourpop it's just the color story and what I'm feeling at the moment and I am not I'm not feeling warm tones like that. I don't know why. I mean, I've done a warm tone look today. I've really tried my hardest. I've tried my hardest, but yeah, it was a struggle getting here, to be honest. Um, next up, I've got the Sosu Jackson, which is the Azur Allure palette. I always say that. It probably sounds really stupid when I say that, but this one's nice. It's dual toned. The only reason I've ranked it so low is because it is the dual tone and it's deep and dark and I like bright, light shimmers, and these are very, very dark shimmers. They're very, very beautiful, um, but they're just dark, and it's hard for me to pull off a look with this palette and not feel like I have too much makeup on. Like, I know we all love putting makeup on, and it's fun and everything, but when I put this on at my eyes, I just feel like it just looks like I'm just wearing too much. So this one, yeah, I ranked it um, low as well. I mean, nothing wrong with the quality. All of these so far, nothing wrong with the quality. It really is just my preference and the color story. Next up is the Orange You Glad from Colourpop. And boy, do you know it. This was actually ranked much higher when I did this initial ranking to myself getting prepared for this video. I ranked it so much higher. And then I started being, you know, I've started like, realizing I don't like it as much because it's so warm tone it is so so orange it is absolutely stunning like when I look at this I'm like oh that's so beautiful but when I put it on the lids when I put it on my eyes I do not enjoy it I actually have quite a few shades on today and yeah it was a struggle getting there it looks nice but you know it's just not my preference I think if you really like warm tones it is a beautiful palette I really really do love it I've had it a while now and 
I definitely like this shade the most as you can see it has a nice dent I really love this shade but I can't pull it off it's like my favorite color though this is the Mimosa Mami this is my favorite color in the whole world um, I love wearing clothes this color <laughs> I do maybe something a little bit more like brighter than that but yeah that's my favorite color but on the eyes not so much I'm making it low okay so this next one is a huge disappointment to me and I think I might do a video where I just talk about all the eyeshadow palettes that have disappointed me there's not a huge amount but there is a good list that I have running um, and this is unfortunately on that list and it is the Alva from Odin's Eye so if you watched my Odin's mystery box unboxing video you would have seen I was so happy that I received this so excited and I um, said I was gonna film a first impressions video and I was just super super pumped to use this and I did film a first impressions video but I did not enjoy it and I never posted it so this is what it looks like if you're not familiar. It is it is a beautiful palette, it is. And I can't fault the quality. I, there's nothing wrong with this palette. This shade in particular is really beautiful. I kept going into that shade. Um, I think I've used it a couple times now, but um, yeah. This one, the reason why this disappointed me so much is because it's not special. I did a look with this and I could have used a different palette to do the look. I didn't find any of the shades to be um, special enough for the hype that I was giving the palette. I don't blame Odin's Eye, I don't blame anyone but myself. I gave it so much hype, I don't know why, I just fell in love with the look of it. Um, and I just, I don't know. I also received two of the mini palettes which um, I have in the list here as well and I just enjoyed those better than this one I don't know I guess because I didn't have any expectations of those and I just you know I'm going off how I feel um, but all of the quality is great you know I this is the first time me trying Odin's Eye and I really enjoyed the quality um, but it was just a disappointment because I it wasn't special and I don't need this palette I think that's kind of what I realized when I filmed my video I could have done this look with anything else and then I just when I was trying to edit the video I just I just saw the look of disappointment and I was so miserable so I never posted it which I probably should have um, to show uh, but you know it is what it is I've deleted it now but yeah that one is just disappointing because it's it, I, I hyped it up so much and it just let me down because I guess I gave it too much hype um, yeah, so the next one that I have, which is also another sort of a disappointing one. I mean, it doesn't, have, doesn't do anything wrong, um, but it is the Lilac You A Lot from Colourpop. It's a really beautiful palette. It has got these beautiful, um, obviously, purpley lilac shades. It's got a little bit, um, a little bit of warmth, but it's mostly cool toned, and I really do uh, like it. But do I need it in my collection? No. Am I blown away by it? No. Um, so that's why I'm ranking it so low, because I don't feel like it's special enough. So yeah, these two, kind of the same, because it, I, I'm just not blown away by them. So those two are there. Next one is the palette that I got from She Glam. This is the Virgo. Um, I really like this palette. It does have, obviously, that glitter, which I didn't realize, and I put that all over my lid. But I really enjoyed the look I did. I really do like this palette. It's more like the grungy greens, and I really enjoy that. Um, I do feel like there's versatility, and I think the quality is decent. I mean, this was this, these are so affordable. I think the quality is really good for what you get. Um, is it the best palette in the world? No, that's kind of why I'm ranking it in the bottom tier, but um, I actually enjoy it more than all these other ones I've spoken about. So this one I'm going to be ranking here. Next up, I've got this little e.l.f. quad. I did use this quite a bit and I did hit pan in that first shade. This is the Berry Bad Quad. Um, not ranking it any higher than this because it really is just four shades. How can I give it more love than that? But it's ranked pretty high for what it is. I thoroughly enjoy this. It is a really good travel. You just throw it in your bag, you go. Um, we went somewhere for, I mean, this wasn't in the last three months, obviously. But for Christmas Eve, I actually took this with us um, for like a, a, like a day trip uh, to use the next day. And it was fine. So yeah, this one... Um, I'm, I'm happy to put it here. I don't think it needs to be any higher. Next one I've got is the Mint To Be from Colourpop. 
And this one, I have two pans in now, so super excited about that. I have one there and one there. If you can see, there is a glass. It's not very good. But um, the reason I'm ranking this lower than where it might necessarily need to be is because it's just, you know, all mint. There's not a lot else you can do with this. So there's really not a lot of versatility with this palette. And I'm realizing I like palettes that have a little bit more versatility. I just don't want monochromatic. I mean, I'm ranking a lot of my monochromatic palettes low because, you know, you kind of want to be able to do more. Um, and that's kind of what I'm realizing. So yeah, moving on, um, I've got the two mini palettes that I got from Odin's Eye. I'm actually ranking them together because I did a look together with them and I haven't used them separately and I feel like, I, I, how would I be able to judge them separately and rank them? But because I did do a look with them, I am actually ranking them in this. I could have waited, but I just thought, nah, I'll rank them. So I've got the Alba 2 Mini Odin's Eye, which looks like this. Which is very beautiful it's very blue and then i've got the verdandi one which is a lot more neutral with a little bit of blue so yeah i did a palette bingo with these two really really love my look and i thought the quality of these were absolutely amazing and i thought that the special shades right here were so so stunning and you don't really get that in the Alva. So that's why I'm ranking these higher as well, because they each obviously have those special shades. I actually haven't tried these ones. I think I've swatched them, but I didn't try them on the list. But anyway, I'm ranking these because they're really, really beautiful. And, you know, I really like Owen's Eye formula. I, I don't have any issue with the formula. I definitely uh, will wait uh, to purchase anything, though. I'll probably wait for something that has a great color story that really speaks to me. I, I think... The problem with the Alva, and I'll say it again, it, it, I have things like it, and I'm, I'm realizing I just, I need to go for something that's a little bit more unique, I guess. Moving on is the Wine and Only from ColourPop, so again, another monochromatic, but I really like this one, so I'm ranking it higher than the others, and yeah, I've used this quite a bit. I'm still working on this, actually. I'm working on this shade right here, but I thoroughly enjoyed the whole palette and was using it quite a bit in one of my projects um, using all the shades and stuff so I, I had to uh, rank it and I just think it's so rich and beautiful like I I got this at the same time as I got the wild nothing and this is so stunning and beautiful and rich and I I like these deeper tones compared to the wild nothing I don't know I just I like the the rich berryness of it I don't know it looks good I like it all right moving on I've got a nomad palette I've got the Tokyo nomad palette so I actually ha uh, have not put the other uh, Nomad palette that I have because I only dip into one shade in that right now. And this one I've dipped into all of the shades. So um, definitely one for me to rank. I do enjoy this. I have issues uh, with the formula of the, um, what are these? The shimmers. Yes, they're shimmers. I have issues with them because they get hard pan really fast, but I really think this palette is fun and colorful and, you know, it's it's just fun to use. It's not the best, but, you know, I do like it. It's not my favorite Nomad palette, but I, I'm ranking it here, sort of uh, middle of the road. I don't think it belongs higher, but I also don't think it should be any lower. I think it's where it needs to be, and I really do enjoy it when I use it. All right, this one that surprised me, so, but it's still middle of the road. It is my Club Nebula from uh, Kaleidos, um, X Angelica. And this is what mine is looking like. I love this palette. I actually have done a total 180 with this. I did not enjoy it for the longest time because I felt like it was too deep for me and I just couldn't play with it. But I have really, really enjoyed working with it. Um, I do tend to avoid these two shades. I'm not a huge fan of these two shades, I have to admit, but I really love uh, the shimmers and it's heavy, gosh. <laughs> and I do, I do use these occasionally. This is actually a really, this red giant shade is really, really beautiful. Um, this shade, Rock Copper, I'm, I actually would love to hit pan in. You're not going to be able to see. I have a pretty nice dent, but in, with this lighting, you're not going to be able to see. But anyway, this one I'm ranking here. I do think the palette is absolutely beautiful. And um, I think 
the issues that I had with it was the color story, but I think feel like my preferences are changing slightly, so I do appreciate it a lot more. All right, moving on, this is my top 10, I believe. So starting it off is the Miss Bliss from ColourPop. I have always loved this palette. I now have two pans in here, which I'm really happy about. And I just, I guess because this is more new, uh, muted, and it's just lighter and brighter than these other monochromatic palettes that are really, really warm. This one I can get away with and I really enjoy and I love that it has the pink and the peach. So yeah, really, really enjoy this palette. I think it is probably my favorite ColourPop palette. I think I'm just gonna put it out there. I think it's still my favorite. Okay, moving on is a new brand that I have been, um, trying it which is the alter ego so i'm going to put the artemis here this is obviously a dupe for the metropolis which uh was discontinued but i see that it's back uh from natasha denona i am not gonna pick it up though because it is very expensive and i don't need it this is a pretty nice dupe obviously i don't have natasha denona i it, it's not the same quality as natasha denona i do have another palette of hers so i kind of know what her quality is um, but I have the color story, you know, similar color story, and I, I just I wouldn't need her palette. Um, but I did pick it up because I wanted her palette, and it was discontinued, so I picked this one up. But anyway, I am ranking this one here because I really do enjoy it, but I also find that it can't, I can't rank it any higher because there are a few shades that are redundant, and I don't feel like the palette needs to be as big as it is. Um, now, if I had the Natasha Denona one, would I think the same way? I'm not sure. It's not like like for like. It is very similar, but it's not everything is the same. Um, I really love this side of the palette. I think this side of the palette is the best side of the palette. So I would love just to have this, <laughs> but I know I can't. So yeah, I struggled with the warm tones when I was working on the warm tones. Again, I just don't like warm tones. I don't know what's happened to me. I used to love warm tones. But um, no, I really like the quality and they actually do try to have, they have a few shades where they're doing that, that cream to powder. This is a cream to powder that they're trying to dupe. Um, this one is also a cream to powder. This one and this one. Yeah, they have a bunch actually, this one as well. And it's interesting. It's not the same as Natasha Denona. They could have just done the normal, the normal, you know, powder and that would have been fine. But um but it works, so it's okay. All right, next up, actually, I did change this one. So I'm not sure if this one really should be here, but I did use it today, and I, uh, along with my Orange, Orange You Glad one from ColourPop, I did use it today, and I realized, yeah, it kind of is really nice. So this is also from Alter Ego, and it is the Canyon palette. Um, I have reservations about this one just because it has a lot of warmer tones and it throws me off but every time I use it I really really enjoy it so I actually really like this and again it's another dupe for the bronze palette from Natasha Denona which I was gonna buy this one anyway so I thought okay well let me buy some more from Alter Ego and I'll see what they're like um I wasn't expecting to like this palette as much as I do I think this shade is stunning as well. This is beautiful. This is called Desert Moon. It is absolutely gorgeous. It's like this brown with um, like a purple shift. I really, really like it. It's, it's, it's so beautiful. Um, and it works with the palette. You'd think it probably wouldn't work, but it really does work. And yeah, I used it today. I used a couple of shades. I used this one and this one. Um, and I think the rest is like orange you glad. But the... The formula is really good and these are pretty affordable palettes now not for me because I <laughs> I live in Portugal now so they had to ship from the US to Portugal um, and I had to pay for like customs and all that stuff so it wasn't all that affordable but that's why I bought more than just one palette when I did do my order because just to make it worthwhile um, but I'm very happy that I did because I really really like it so yeah a long, long story short, I like it. I'm ranking it there. Next one I have is the Avocado Toast from BH Cosmetics. So this one, um, 
this one is really nice and I'm I'm obviously ranking it high right I'm I'm ranking it um no this is number seven so I'm ranking it number seven so obviously I'm ranking it really high out of all the ones that I have been playing around with um but I will say that I thought I would like it more than I do so I had really high expectations about this and I really have enjoyed all of the looks that I've created with it and I don't know what I was expecting because it is a very green palette so I was expecting a green palette but I wasn't expecting the beautiful rose tones that it has it has this it has this uh, shade called expensive and it is beautiful it is so so metallic and boiled and it is really really beautiful and I wasn't expecting it in this palette so it kind of caught me by surprise but at the same time I did I, 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 I am a little bit more reserved about it because I do think that I was expecting to love it whereas I think it's really good I like it but I don't love it you know so that's kind of where I'm putting it but I still obviously like it and I'm ranking it higher than everything else because the formula is just so amazing. But it's BH Cosmetics, so what do you expect? Um, next one is was a surprise to me. I did not think I was going to like this palette at all. I got it for £5 um, about a year ago, and they only just tried it out uh, in the last few months, which is kind of crazy. But it is from BH Cosmetics, so what do you expect? Um, the formula was so beautiful, and it was the colour story that always threw me off, and I had no interest in trying it. But it was the... Uh, Summer in Saint Tropez, which I saw so many people say that they love this palette as well. And I was thinking, I have that palette. I've never wanted to try it. Why does everyone love it? So I finally tried it. I was actually going to give this to somebody. I wasn't, that's why I held on to it for so long. I was thinking, okay, I'm just going to give this to someone. I'm, so I'm, I never swatched it. I never did anything with it. And then I finally thought, well, actually, I'm just going to keep it for myself. And I'm so happy that I did because it is so beautiful. Now, the thing that I don't like about it is this quad right here. <laughs> Get rid of that quad and it is absolutely stunning. But this blue is actually really fun to play with, um, to have a pop of blue when you're working with these beautiful shimmers. This is my favorite shade um, out of everything. It's called Coastline. It's really, really beautiful. I ended up using that so much. It's it's like a green. I don't know what it is. It's like a, yeah, it's like a brown. It, it's, or, or oh, I don't know. It's like a brown with a green, green shift or whatever that is. Yeah, it is really beautiful. Um, surprising too. I didn't think that that shade existed in this palette, but that's the thing. BH Cosmetic, they surprise you i mean with these i don't know if they're going to they're going to continue surprising us now that you know they're going to be slightly different but um you know the avocado toast that one surprised me this one surprised me so again i think i could probably rank it a bit higher to be honest but i just yeah i had to put it here i thought it was so beautiful um next up is my huda beauty desert dusk i just kind of had to like be honest with myself i really like this palette I don't think there's anything wrong with this palette. Obviously, it's a very old palette in comparison to um, some other palettes. And it is, I think, her older formula. But I really like this. Apart from this glitter, I think it's really nice. And I really like this shade over here, which is the Retrograde, which is a very similar shade to the one in the Summer at Central Pay. And to be honest, these two could really be ranked kind of similar. I don't really have a preference of what of which one's above the other, but I have been really enjoying this lately and I have this one in my Panos eyeshadows. I have another a few other of these other ones, this one and this one in my Zodiac Panos. So I'm working on this palette, but I also dipped into the palette just naturally to use while it's in front of me. And that's why I'm able to rank it in the rankings. So I haven't just been using those three shades. And yeah, I used this the other day with, a, uh, I think this shade and another one. And it was just so beautiful. And I realized, yeah, I really love this palette. So I needed to rank it. All right, we got my top four. So this one um, was actually ranked a bit higher a few, a few uh, like a week and a half ago. Um, but I've just changed it now to number four, which is my Stone Vibes from Urban Decay. I think it kind of should be there because while I do love this palette and I have grown to like it more and more and more, um, I don't think it should be higher. 
I think number four is fine. Um, and yeah, I really, really enjoy it. I think it's, I, I just love these shimmers. I think they're so beautiful. And I can grab this palette and use this just to use one look. I don't need to dip in here just to use one shade. I, you know, you've got the full mattes and I think that's good enough. At least for me, it's good enough, and I think there's enough here to make some decent, beautiful looks. Um, so I really like this palette, and I just love the packaging, and I know a lot of people love or hate this. I wasn't a fan, but now I am, and I love it, so I'm going to rank it here. Next up, um, I am going to rank my Norvina here. This one, I just couldn't rank any lower. I just, there's such a pleasure using this. I, when I have it out, I... I, it's hard for me to not use it and I have to stop myself from grabbing it and using it I just find it so much fun to use I really really enjoy it so this one I had to put here as well and I finally have a little pan I don't know if you're gonna be able to see but I do have a pan in the palette now and I'm really happy that I'm able to get pans and palettes that I love I just think if you're not going to be able to pan the palettes that you love then what's the point I don't want to pan palettes I don't love so yeah I'm happy about that but I just think it's beautiful and yeah the formula is very 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 creamy movable um the powders are very very powdery if you don't like that then you won't like this but i don't mind it so yeah it's the end result that i care about and i think it's beautiful so this next one i wasn't expecting to include in the video but i have been working on it the last few weeks and I don't want to stop working on it and that's why I'm ranking it so high because it's the only eyeshadow palette that I want to use and I'm forcing myself to use other ones and yeah it's a, it's a real surprise to me because I didn't think that I would really care and it is another one from Alter Ego so it is the shadow kiss I've just rolled it in to my palette's eyeshadows so for my palette's eyeshadows I have the shades that I want to pan but then I also have a focus palette for that month and this is my focus palette for this month and so it's relatively new for me I hadn't I hadn't tried this at all until just the last few weeks but I've used this so many times for like complete looks or dipping in and trying it you know just use it as much as I want to use it because I love it so much that I had to rank it because you know no point waiting another three months just to talk about how much I love this I want to talk about it now so this is a, another Natasha Denona dupe uh which is the oh gosh what's it called I just had it <laughs> Ooh, the glam palette yes which is the only Natasha Denona palette that I have my eye on. And I saw it on sale, I think a couple nights ago, and I was thinking, gosh, should I buy it? Should I buy it? But I have this, and I, I don't know, part of me was like, but should I get the Natasha Denona? I love this so much. It's so cool toned. I'm so into cool tones. Should I buy it? And I, I haven't, but ugh, please, please just tell me not to buy that because I don't need it because I have this and I really, really am enjoying it. I'm just curious how different it is but anyway um yeah this is a pleasure I don't know I I find you know when you look at it you think it's going to be very very boring and it looks like a, a lot of the shades are the same but what has been surprising to me is that they're not and I don't know I've just really really enjoyed it and I have been dipping in to this gray it's like a neutral I don't know what it is this, like a taupey gray matte? It's a matte. I've been dipping into this more than anything. I don't know what. I just want to use, I just, I've been dipping into the matte so much, which is unheard of for me. I do not like mattes over shimmers, but I love the mattes in here. I, I just think they are so beautiful. And then I do a little bit of the shimmer and then I'm good to go. And I'm just like, oh, I love it. I love it. So yeah, I, I think I have converted to a cool tone lover um and this is beautiful so if you haven't tried alter ego i would definitely give them a go um because i have all three of their palettes in my top 10. i don't know maybe that's just me maybe i'm just fangirling over them but i think they're my new favorite sort of uh brand that i've tried recently i just i don't know i really really enjoy them okay so number one is a palette that a lot of people love 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 it won't be a surprise to anyone that this is my number one well there might be i mean i don't know you don't know me but 
it shouldn't be a surprise that I would rank this so high. Um, but I, I just didn't have it in me to rank it any lower because I do think it's so beautiful and I enjoyed using it so much. And it is the Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograde. I don't know. I, I This is a palette that I was humming and ahhing about. I bought it and then I didn't use it for a couple months because I was so nervous about not liking it. Um, but I absolutely love this palette and I just want to use it. I, I just want to go in and use it. I don't really want to use anything else. Um, but I am. I am using other products. So yeah, this one I was a pleasure. Absolute pleasure to realize that I love this and it's a pleasure to use. I like that it's versatile. I love the creamy the creamy shimmers. This one, this gold glitch, is so beautiful. I've almost hit pan. It's crazy. Um, it is so beautiful. It's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful color. Um, I've been swatching some other stuff, so actually, yeah, I will. It's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful color, and I just think it, I don't know, it's just kind of blinding. It's just beautiful. It's this one right here, so yeah it's beautiful i really love it um and yeah that has been my rankings for the last three months all of the eyeshadow palettes that i have been working on um and using to their fullest potential i want to say obviously i have a bunch of other palettes that i'm dipping in to one or two shades to pan but not necessarily using the palette to its full potential to use it as like a for a makeup look and then I have a few new ones that I just don't know well enough to rank but yeah let me know what you thought do you like any of these um are you surprised by any of them do you agree and yeah like and subscribe if you'd like to if you enjoyed the video and um yeah hopefully I will see you again very soon thank you so much bye